Hey guys, we're back, part three. If you haven't watched part one, part two, watch it now. So you have the foundation. Now, we talked about magnesium, we talked about calcium. Now we're gonna talk about how to get rid of the excess calcium outside the cell. There is 10,000 times more concentrated calcium outside the cell than inside the cell in relationship to this mineral calcium. We've never really had a problem with too much magnesium, but we definitely have a big problem with too much calcium. And I don't even recommend taking a calcium supplement unless you're taking it in a complex with other things because if you're taking calcium carbonate, that's like, that's like basically rocks and that can aggravate this condition. But what I wanna talk about now is what to do to get this calcium out. There's several things you have to look at, okay? It could be you just need some vitamin D3. Now, if it's the summer and you're getting sun, well, you probably don't need any vitamin D. But if it's winter, chances are you might need some vitamin D to help this. And this is why a lot of times in winter, people start getting uh, bone pain and uh, kind of inflammation, not just from the deficiency of vitamin D3 itself, but from the accumulation of calcium, okay? It makes things stiff and rigid. This is why it causes blood pressure issues as well and muscle spasm and trigger points. Okay, you might just need more magnesium in the diet because you're not consuming enough leafy greens. At the heart of chlorophyll, which is the green of the blood of the plant, you have magnesium. Okay, a lot of people don't consume enough greens. All right, number three, omega-3 fatty acids. Uh, fish oils, salmon oil is the best. Uh, cod liver oil is great. There's a couple different types of omega-3. You have DHA and EPA. It's the EPA that will help lower the excess calcium. Okay, so omega-3 fatty acids. All right, then we get vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is different than K1. It's a fat-soluble vitamin that helps transport calcium out from the wrong places and into the correct places. So you may be deficient in vitamin K2. And guess where you get vitamin K2? In fatty foods. If you're on a low-fat diet, well, guess what? you might be deficient in K2. But if you're on a keto plan, a healthy keto plan, chances are you have enough K2 because it's a higher fat diet, but it's low carb. Okay, number five, too much glucose. If you're a pre-diabetic or you're a diabetic or you consume too many carbs because you're on a high carbohydrate diet or you have insulin resistance, which you have high insulin, this scenario right here will definitely keep the calcium locked up inside the cell. This is probably one of the more common reasons why uh, people get high blood pressure and they have calcium problems and they have inflammation. Interesting. So going on a low carb diet, low glucose, you're fixing insulin resistance. Guess what? You're gonna get rid of inflammation. Why? Because you're gonna balance out this right here. And lastly, something called EMF, electromagnetic fields, okay? Now the channel, the door, which opens um, outside the cell for calcium to leave is called a voltage-gated calcium channel. So there's electrical things going on and EMF interferes with this channel to the point where the calcium won't leave. The calcium will get stuck inside the cell. So how do you get EMFs? This right here. Use the speaker on your cell phone. Don't hold it next to your head. Okay, I see people doing that all the time. The Bluetooth is going to be a transmitter. That's going to make it even worse because you don't want these signals to go close to your brain because the neurons inside your brain can start to malfunction simply because they fill up with calcium. And that can create all sorts of problems with degeneration in the, in the nerve cells and set you up for cancer and tumors and inflammation. All right, guys, there you have it. And thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis, how about that?